we're here at the Martin Luther Monument in Worms, Germany. And of course, we give great credit to Martin Luther for his brave stand on the new Reformation principle, justification by grace through faith alone. But Martin Luther did not act by himself. He had support from the German nobility. Most notably, Frederick the Wise, who was Elector of Saxony and Luther's personal protector. He is the founder of the Wittenberg University, where Luther was professor of theology. He also was the uncle of Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor. And so uh, Frederick the Wise was able to protect Luther uh, and keep him from execution. Indeed, after the Edict of Forms condemned Martin Luther, it was Frederick the Wise who arranged to have Martin Luther kidnapped and hid away in Bartburg Castle. Now, after the Reformation was more established, we have the German Prince Philip of Hesse, who was one of Luther's greatest supporters. It was Philip who attempted to merge the reforms of Martin Luther and Ulrich Zwingli by bringing them together at Marburg, hoping to create an alliance between the German reformers and the Swiss reformers against uh, Catholic retribution. Unfortunately, Luther and Zwingli were unable to come to an agreement on the issue of the Lord's Supper, and so no such alliance was formed. Now, in the back of the monument are two other more uh, theological, ecclesiastical supporters of Martin Luther, uh, especially Philip Melanchthon, or as we uh, heard his name pronounced, Melanchthon. Uh, but uh, Philip was uh, Luther's assistant. He was his successor and biographer, and uh, we uh, we owe much of the continuation of the Lutheran Reformation to the work of Philip Melanchthon. And then Johannes Reuchlin was a humanist uh, and uh, a Protestant scholar uh, who also made contributions to the Reformation. Now, around the corner and on the side, uh, not given much attention, are two reliefs of the uh, busts of Ulrich Zwingli and John Calvin, the two major Swiss reformers about whom we will study more later. But one group we will not see at this monument are the Anabaptists. The Anabaptists were not recognized by the Lutherans, by the Calvinists, or by the Catholics. And so they are the uh, fourth uh, movement of the Reformation, but uh, not uh, given uh, the credit or the freedom to operate uh, within this, within these borders, within these faith traditions. But we're uh, we're grateful to uh, to support and to remember Martin Luther and his supporters as we think about the uh, Protestant Reformation.